How to survive a city attack and recover in Call of Dragons. My name is Shinchi42. If you guys want to see more Call of Dragons content, consider subscribing and don't forget to give us a like. So first, let's talk about how can you get attacked in Call of Dragons. So if you are not in an alliance, you can get attacked on your city 100%. Now, if you join an alliance and you are in the alliance territory, you are then not going to be attacked by the players. So that is the protection that you can do. But if the territory is demolished, then you do not belong into a alliance territory in that point. Then players can attack your city or they can launch a rally. How can you protect yourself if you are out of the territory and you are being rallied? Well, you can use certain items in here, such as the shield. You have to go into boost. You will be able to see this item the city shield so you'll have to use the city shield so that players cannot attack you if you need to purchase a city shield you can go into the um, shop in here and the store and then you can go into the boost and um, over here there is eight hours 24 hours there's a three day and a 30 day city shield really the best thing is that be in the alliance territory so I would say just teleport out and find the nearest territory or the wherever your teammates are to protect yourself in Call of Dragons. So that's basically the explanation on how players can attack your city. But what are some of the ways that you can improve within your city to make you stronger and survive an attack? And then later on, we'll talk about how you can recover if you do get attacked in here. So my suggestion to you is to work on to your technology. This is the basic things in here. The technology will allow you to survive, all right? How can the technology allow you to survive? Well, there are some tech in here, such as the urban assault. As you can see, increased damage dealt by legions in the city. So if you are being attacked, your legions within the city will deal 10% more damage to the attacker. And you also have a defense. So whenever you're being attacked, your city legions will then have this ability to reduce the damage taken by 10%. That is a very important technology to have, especially if you are in a heavy war zone in Call of Dragons. So of course, there are other buffs in here that can help you out as well within the game. Just working onto your infantry, cavalry, marksman, magic unit, um, buff in here will really help you out significantly. So if once you've reached T4, these will also protect you as you can hit harder and have a better defense. The defense formation, assault strategies, and first aid, these are also going to help you significantly as well uh, to protect your city by dealing a lot more damage and hold, you know, and also absorbing damage from the attacker. Um, I would also recommend that you need to work onto your conscription right away. Make sure that you get this tent so that you can make more troops. The more troops you have in the city, the more defense you have as well. So not just because of the technology, but you also need numbers to protect your city. All right. So now let's talk about the buildings in here. There's two important buildings that you need to pay attention into. One is the wall. The wall will provide you durability. Once your durability is gone and you're burning, you're going to get basically randomly teleported. So this is very important. But the wall's main purpose is that you can garrison heroes. Now, whenever you're garrisoning heroes within the wall, within the wall, uh, my best recommendation is to use the best hero that you got. Currently, as of today, June um, 20th, 2023, there is really no defined garrison hero in Call of Dragons at the very moment. So as you can see for me, my setup, I am using Bex I am using Bexi and Emery's as my garrison hero currently. I am not using Garwood. Garwood would not be good, by the way. I know Garwood is a garrison hero, but Garwood would not be good. Not a whole lot of damage and too much healing will, you know, lead to more deaths in here whenever you get rallied. Now, Bakshi would be the best for for my setup. If you're, if you are working on to marksman, then you will might then you might want to use like Nico uh, and Kinara. If you're going for infantry, I would say Madeline Nika. You know, along that line. And if you are using magic unit, uh, of course you're gonna do Lilia and Veline for that. You know, defense. So my biggest thing in here is that you need to use the best hero that you got, the strongest one, the highest level, the highest one with the skills. 
Um, for the epics, there is a good hero here that you can use for the epics. You can use Bakar, but I would not use Bakar. Oh, I can actually expertise Bakar, but I, I would not use Bakar. Oh, actually, I can do Awakening for Bakar now. Um, but here's the thing. I would not use Bakar to um, replace a, a legendary. If you have a 5511 legendary, then I would go for the 5511 legendary, then using Bakar. Although, if you have Bakar, you can definitely use Bakar as a garrison uh, leader in here. All right. There we go. Let's do this real quick. <laughs> Let's work on Bakar there. Nice. Yeah, Bakar is another one that you can use. It has some good ability in here to garrison. As you can see, hero skill damage taken reduction, healing granted bonus as well. Bakar is great, but like I said, any healing in the uh, in the um, wall is not really going to be that good. You know, you're going to just accumulate a lot more debts. So another building to work on in here is your watchtower the watchtower is very very good because the watchtower has a attack in here as well as you can see the watchtower has 100 percent attack so if you go into the watchtower information in here um, you, whenever you increase the level you increase the watchtower attack as well so this is very important that you upgrade your watchtower so you can deal a bit of more damage to the enemy so it's not completely going to be the best thing in here, but it will add a little bit of layer that can help you to survive the battle. But of course, the main two things in here is your hero and as well as the amount of troops that you have within the game or within your account. Another important building to mention here is your hospital. This is very important to understand and uh, you need to really know how the system works because in here, if you get attacked, 10% of the severely wounded will die. Now, 50% of the enemy's severely wounded will die. So keep that in mind that the enemy will have more casualty in comparison to you. Although if, if your enemy is much stronger than you, then you might see in the report where they are going to be the one who is leading into the battle report and you losing. So really, you need to work on the few things that we mentioned. Heroes, the amount of troops, your technology. Those are some of the things that are going to help you out significantly within the game. Now, another thing that can help you significantly as well is your artifacts. So as you can see in the wall, you will see that my hero is equipped with the artifact as well. So the best artifact really for Garrison is this artifact right here, the Breath of of the forest this is a garrison artifact this will significantly help you to deflect any attacker and survive a bit longer for the skills though it has a little bit of randomness uh, one is for healing and one is for granting hp and aria removes one debuff every two seconds in the duration of six seconds so this breath of forest is the best artifact but if you don't have the breath of forest don't worry use the next best thing that you have within the game. If you've dedicated, like for me, I am using Bak Bakshi and um, Emery's in here, I got Kingslayer. That is the best artifact that I got. This is going to give all my calves 40% more damage bonus, and then Legion attack as well, and damage taken and damage dealt as well that we get to apply here. So another option that I would say, if you don't have anything and you have a fang of ashkari this is great because this is a universal buff it is going to buff every single unit type that you got whether if it's calves infantry marksman uh flying unit anything it is going to buff everything and anything here with the defense in here with the fang of ashkari this is really good uh artifact my suggestion is that if you have the specific equipment equipped to the legion then that is fine, so you don't have to keep changing. But if you have a dedicated uh, garrison for the moment, then I would equip that garrison with a universal buff. Like for example, like with the Fang of Ashkari, a universal buff, what I mean is like the Legion uh, indication in here, all right? It's not dedicated to cab infantry marksmen. So another option that you can do um, is to enable your notification. I think in the PC version, I'm not seeing it, but you can do it on your mobile. So whenever you get rallied, uh, you will get notified right away so you can prevent the attack. You can either shield or you can either teleport away. So that is another preventative measure that you can 
you know, add into the uh, account that you have is that enabling the notifications, make sure that notifications on your phone is also enabled. That will definitely save you from getting wrecked within the game. Now, let's say you get attacked, you're done, you're dead. Uh, how can you recover? Well, first thing, your hospital will definitely accommodate every single severely wounded you, that you accumulate. All right, there's no, uh, there's no cap onto your hospital, it's unlimited. So the hospital will definitely be your best friend because you're gonna be able to use your elixir, heal up everything. You can go into your stash, use your elixir reserves and heal everything that you have within the game. Then I would say you can ask for help from your alliance, get some resources, or if you have, uh, you know, if you have, let's say, a farm account, then you can transfer from farm to main. And another thing is just you need to just keep making more troops. By that time, you need to replace the units that you have lost. But I would say it's not really the end of the day. You get to farm. Um, another best information that I want to give you guys is that do not use the resources that you have in here in stash right away keep it here in the stored form because if you get attacked they will be able to loot you and if you open everything in here they loot everything so these things that you have the resource in the tile form that in the tile form is your backup is your reserve use this only in the emergency period not even if you feel very comfortable in that kingdom or that server that you'll use everything no Never be, never be comfortable in the game because anything can happen and you can lose everything in just a second. So keep these, only use them whenever you need to, farm, and that's the best advice that I can give you here on how to survive and recover in Call of Dragons. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys again next time.